And as you exit the tree line, you can see about maybe 10 minutes due north of where you're currently standing, uh, the same tent city that you originally encountered upon your arrival. Making your way in that direction, as you get closer and closer, you can see some of the, the camp has just been in a holding pattern, and most people are kind of sitting around on stumps or on boxes and crates with card games or whatever else they can do to pass the time. Some of them are, are just taking naps midday. Um, but nevertheless, you approach the same tent where the foreman had previously come to uh, to greet you. Does not appear to be there immediately, but as you approach, one of the guards, one of the uh, um, the Aurora uh, guards, comes up to you. Uh, now, you are, are you all just yourselves right now? Yeah. 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 All right. Approaches and uh, right. Uh, do you need the foreman? Yes, please. Very much so. Be right back. Turns around, tells the other guards to kind of scatter a bit. Him and one other head inside of the tent, and uh, the foreman comes out, pair of glasses in the end of his nose. He's currently in the process of uh, going through a piece of paper and scratching things out angrily. It looks like he's in the, been in the middle of a meeting. He's like, well, "What? What if I might ask is this problem?" Right, right. So you've returned. Um, very well. As, how did it go? We're all here. Problem solved. Giants are kaput. Really, not that big of a deal, actually. Well, that is very impressive. I certainly hope you aren't pulling my leg. Oh no, we had we had time to sit around. We actually took a nice long nap afterwards. Uh, yeah. Maybe even found some stuff. Yeah, yeah. we got to search around. Well, that's a day of productivity that we lost. Then, if that is the case. Hmm. Nevertheless, uh, let us go ahead and get everyone back to work. And he shouts out. Everyone! Aren't you? Everyone! Everyone starts kind of scattering up and hearing this. And Gather around, we have an announcement to make. Mm -hmm. He's like, yes. Everyone, please, I need your ears. I so, so. <coughs> it seems. It seems. It seems. It seems. <laughs> and Caleb casts seeming. <laughs> <laughs> and Caduceus and Yasha uh, and Jesta look like the woman in the locket, and Nott and Caleb and Ford suddenly look like Bodo of different sizes. <laughs> All right, now he's currently not looking at this, he's looking out towards the group and goes, it seems that these fair uh, mercenaries have been able to remove the giant problem. Mm. And as such, it is time to return to work within the steelworks immediately. Please grab your stuff. What are you laughing at? <laughs> it appears removing problems is a reoccurring theme from you. He turns around. Did you put Oh, what happened? It looks like he's I seen a, a bone. I, I would say a ghost, but I'm not sure. Attention, not really workers of the mine. <laughs> we have a very important announcement. And news from the mining front. It appears. He's like trying to hide you, <laughs> the three of you, but there's too many of you. It appears your wonderful foreman Bodo is quite the poet. I just and has a mistress. The poet? The po poet. The Bodo wit of the poet. We shall be reenacting such a poem mm -hmm. for you all. I hope you enjoy this you, wonderful performance. We give you the Bodo players. Everybody, everybody. Everyone's like, they're in. He's like, mm. <laughs> Bodo, your art deserves to be shared. Just let it happen. I didn't give you gold to stop. <clears throat> My dearest Lorna. That's no. me and oh. her and her. Just as your namesake suggests, you Lorna in my loins. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> night after night, as I lay underneath the stars oh, in this yeah. encampment. Crumples to his knees. <laughs> the only encampment I can think of is the warmth of your embrace and the soft, supple bosom that you have invited me into. I grab Nott's little Bodo and push it against my butt. <laughs> As I snuggle this lambskin, oh. I think of your curly hair 
Oh shit. <laughs> Laying on the depths of my oh. stomach. And loins. He's, oh. he's crawling towards you in the mud, the rain just completely soaking him. Please, please stop. I think about the time that I confess to you of my romance indigestion <laughs> <laughs> and the nervousness that you alight in the depth of my bowels. Oh. That's lovely. Oh, wow. I thaumaturgy I fart noises. You. I thaumaturgy fart noises. <laughs> <laughs> but you held my face and told me, I love every scent that comes from you. I do have a fourth face and I say, I love every scent that comes from you. Moo, moo, kiss, moo, kiss moo, 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 moo. And I don't kiss him. Aww. He passes out. Just the mud. It pretty much. It's not as fun when he's not here to hear it. Um, anybody, it pretty much just wraps up, and um, he he yeah. talks about how he dreams of her, and uh, he gets a little flowery some more at the end. Um, uh, regardless. But yeah, that's the story of Lorna. Yeah. Everybody. Oh, regardless. Oh, regardless. Oh, regardless. Oh, regardless. God. And more clapping and cheers. You see, a lot of the folks seem to be particularly enjoying this entire display.